In this video I'm going to show you how to create sub-users. So what we do is just log into the game panel and once you're logged in you'll see a bunch of icons as uh, so sub-users, create a sub-user, your game services, your voice services, your profile, you change your password and your email notifications. So if we click on create a sub-user, give that user a name, um, it can be whatever you want, give them a password, again it can be whatever you want, um, and you can give them a note. Uh, it can be just saying who they are or whatever you want to put there. Um, then we click on the next tab which is profile. Uh, give them a first name, give them an email address. Um, the email address is particularly useful because uh, if we send out any uh, notifications about anything they'll also get them and can respond to them on your behalf if you want them to. Um, and then the last thing is game slash voice service permissions. So what you do is you just click on whatever game server you want them to give them access to. So I'm going to go with 7 Days to Die for this one. The top box always has to be ticked if you want them to be able to access that. So if you tick access to this service, then you can go ahead and tick the rest of the boxes or untick them if you don't want them to have access to that. So start stop if you want them to have access to that ticket. Configuration files if you want them to be able to go configure your server. Uh, the Archon client, if the game has Archon, the file manager so they can change files or download them or edit things, FTP so they can use FTP to basically do the same thing as file manager, the mod manager if you want them to be able to in install or uninstall or update any mods, um, the Steam update button if you want them to be able to update your server, maybe you're not there or you just want somebody to manage it for you. Um, reinstall, scheduled reinstall, scheduled restart, repair file permissions um, and then there are some uh, custom 7 days to die scripts that we've got down here so you've got save world, backup world, restore world, telnet web console details, ban IP addresses uh, they're all just for 7 days to die um, so if you're configuring one of these servers for a sub-user you'll have access to those and you can give the sub-user access to those or not uh, if you want to. The sub support ticket, um, we don't use the game panel support ticket feature so you can ignore that one and the billing area slash upgrades button um, unless they have an account with us it won't do anything um, so you don't need to give them access to that either. And then once you're finished you just click save and that's it you've created a sub user who can access whatever it is that you've given them access to.